Okay. Um, no matter if you've got an iPhone or an Android device, one of the things you should do is go to photos.google.com. You have to have a Gmail account or a Google account and upload your pictures. Um, it does some automatic categorizing that is amazing. So, uh, photos.google.com, you're going to need to sign in. Um, you can upload from your phone, uh, go through some clicks. Basically, all you're going to have to do is where this little cloud is, hit upload photos, find the folder where your photos are. It's a large group of flagged folders, excuse me, flagged photos that I have from my computer. And you'll get an option. You get high quality, free, unlimited storage, or you get the um, take it away from your Google storage. So I'm going to go ahead and do the high quality free. Um, while it's uploading, I'll show you some of the things you can do. So once um, once the pictures are up there, they categorize them into people, the places, into things. And for example, if you want to look at all the pictures of my son Cooper, um, without me doing anything, it's pulled all these pictures from literally birth to uh, now. You go back, you can see uh, like categorizing things like beaches. It isn't perfect, but again, it's categorizing it without you doing anything. Like for instance, this is my friend Andy's house. It's not a beach. But for the most part, you can see all beaches pictures without you doing anything. Christmas um, it does some things like makes collages and animations that you can save yourself if you want. Um, really does a fantastic job. It's free. It's easy, and even better, there's an iPhone and Android app that allows you to have access instantly with all these pictures and a really neat way to search through them and view them um, on your mobile devices also. So, can't recommend this enough. Today, start uploading and backing up your pictures.